Hey guys, it's Steel HD, and welcome to The Simpsons Hit and Run. I really enjoy playing this game, even if I absolutely suck at it. Like, some of the missions would take me 20 plus attempts and a lot of frustration. Anyway, this game has a lot of fun glitches that, to my knowledge, work on every platform this game is out on. So in this episode of Game Breakers, we're going to take a look at some glitches found within The Simpsons Hit and Run. To kick off this episode, how about we do a glitch that you can do right at the very start of the game. When you take control of Homer, get in the family sedan and find any street lamp. Now drive into it and as it's falling, get out of the car. The pole will stop falling, so get back in your car. Keep driving forward so the base of the street lamp is now inside the seating section. Now hop back out and stomp on the car by double jumping and then pressing the attack button. This will send the car flying through the air at insane speeds. You can get a variety of different results ranging from it sliding on the ground to shooting straight up into the air. Or how about when the pole was the one getting launched? I couldn't get it to work with cars like the school bus, but I noticed that a lot of the roofless cars like the bandit works perfectly. This glitch is so easy to pull off and the results are really worth it, so try this one out for yourself. Up next is an out of bounds glitch that's also very easy to do. Head to the Springfield Elementary School and back to this wall with the sign. For some reason you can walk right through the end of the wall. Double jump here and you'll fall right through the world. Once you're underneath here, you can get yourself stuck very easily, but it's still cool to see the level from underneath. Normally when you damage a vehicle enough, it'll catch on fire and force you to leave the car as it explodes. However, there is a way to drive the car while it's flaming. Damage your ride until the smoke is coming out of the back. Go over to the phone booth and check if it reads 100% damaged. If not, keep damaging it until it does. Now call it back in and it'll be on fire but you can drive it. Be careful though cause one hit will cause it to blow up as usual. Still in level 1, the mission of Fat and the Furious starts off racing Smithers to Mr. Burns Mansion. Before talking to Carl, take your ride back and park it in the entrance to the power plant. Now speak with Carl and start the race. Run over to your car and hop in. If you placed it far enough in, you can now pass right through the door that's meant to block you from doing this in the first place. If the car is not parked right, this can happen. Anyway, doing this glitch can help you reach Mr. Burns Mansion a lot faster and beat Smithers there with plenty of time to spare. While in the power plant, the NPCs will all be wearing hazmat suits. But using a Chico, we can make them appear in the normal level as well. Input the press to horn jump cheat which you can find online and head through the power plant. Before exiting back out to the main world, you'll reach the stonecutter's tunnel. Start driving up the little set of stairs and then honk the horn. The vehicle will fly up into the air, through the ceiling, bounce off the collision of the tunnel leading to the exit, and then land back on solid ground. It won't take you long to realize that all the NPCs out here are also wearing hazmat suits. This will be corrected if you start driving away from that area. Since we just activated the horn to jump cheat, why don't we do another glitch with it? Drive underneath the bridge and aim your car towards the river. Drive and honk just before falling off. You'll shoot up and out of bounds so when you land you can drive the car and walk around freely. I'd recommend not double jumping because this will cause your character to go into the default T animation pose and plummet forever. If you drive around crashing into people and cars, you'll eventually get a hit and run. If you quickly go into the menu and select a mission in the same level, when the game loads back in the meter will be flashing but no cops will ever come. You can now smash into anything you want without the worry of the cops getting on you. The random cars on the road can sometimes mess with the missions, but here's a way to fix that. Start up a street race and upon winning, mash the A button or whatever you used to jump. When the cutscene ends, quickly pause and select the mission you want no traffic in. Upon loading the mission, there will be no cars at all besides yours. You can keep this no traffic state through missions as well by doing the same mash A and pause process. Over in the third level, drive onto the harbor into Davy Jones' hamper. On the left side of the house, there are two crates stacked on top of each other. If you jump to the left of the boxes, you'll land on an invisible platform. Double jump off this and hold right so you land back on the ground and inside this house. The cops can't reach you from in here and it's pretty cool to see inside. You can get out the same way you got in by double jumping around the crates. So that's going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, drop a like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future games, post them in the comments below. Just a quick little update, I have a new style of glitch show that I'm really excited about. It's still going to be Game Breakers, but it'll be a little different from the normal episodes, and that'll be out in a couple weeks. But for now, I'm going to get about here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, see ya!